Hello everyone, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can get used to Metjourney to implement that to use that for our documents, for presentations, and for actually much more. So as you can see here, I'm uh, using Canva. Now Canva is a tool that I use a lot to create some documents and ideas. So uh, what I was actually trying to do here is to create like an old man having like a rainbow uh, emerging from his head. So this is something that I created uh, here and I, I kind of don't like this so far. I think that this can be uh, looking much better. But I'm just showing this as an example of the before and after. So uh, what I want to do is to duplicate this page and I want to make like a quick comparison between this one and the one that we're going to be creating today into into Metjourney. So here I want to delete my elements and I want to create something new based into my idea. So the first thing that you want to do of course is to have your idea. You want to look for a gentleman or like an old man, um, actually a rainbow emerging from a old man's head. So this is something that I want to do into Metjourney. So Metjourney is going to be creating images for us and we don't have to be worrying about the copywriting and all that. So I'm going to hit into join to the beta mode. But before you hit in the what you do want to do, of course, is to have a Discord account. Otherwise, this just won't work. So once we do have a Discord account, just gonna, you just need to provide an email, provide a phone number and you're actually good to go. So with that being said, now I am here into join to the beta mode. Here, as you can see, you just need to accept and authorize that inside this code. And now that I'm in here, what I just need to do is to either work in here as almost everybody is doing or to send this directly into my own server so I can start to do like my own, just see my own stuff. So to doing that, just hit into add a server, hit into create my own. And once you create my server, as you can see, I have this one that says AI networks. I want to go back into my room of newbies, just focus into newbies, of course, whatever you want to do, but just make sure that this one says newbies. Hit into the members list in the upper side. And here you want to look for the Metjourney bot. Inside the Metjourney bot, hit into add to the server. And here I want to choose my server. Here's AI artworks and hit it to continue. Now, as you can see, this is all the images that were generated for, um, for me by actual Metjourney. So as you can see, it says, welcome Metjourney, say hi, Metjourney is now inside here. So in order to get started, what you want to do is to tap the forward slash. And as you can see, we want to type Metjourney bot. And here are all the comments that you can use in order to create your ideas. But today I'm going to be focusing into Imagine. So here into Imagine, we do have prompt and I can type the text idea that we created in the first part of the video, remember? So I want to look for a rainbow emerging from an all man's head. I'm going to hit into enter. And I just need to wait to see what the computer has to offer to us. I actually asked the computer to create before a unicorn emerging from a phone device to use this into an advertisement to, let's say, like uh, for movies into your phone. So this is what the computer generate for me. This is something that actually it's looking really, really great. Um, if you want to see like an iPhone, you can do that. Let's say, for example, um, emerging instead of saying an, an phone, just say an iPhone. That totally depends on what you're trying to look for. Um, I'm going to go into the X mark. And as you can see, we do have here different options, different variations of what the computer just created for us. So based on our idea, uh, as you can see, here's our idea. I actually want to go back into the one that we just created. Based into this idea, what I want to do is to make myself a little bit more descriptive in order to get this idea. So for example, as you can see, we do have this guy amazed or surprised. If I just type old man, of course, this guy's going to be showing me an old man with no intentions, with no feelings. But here's the rainbow implemented into his, his head like this. So uh, what I want to do is to change my description. Let's say I want to type into imagine once again. And here I want to correct a few things. For example, a rainbow in a shape of a smoke 
Alright, so I think that we have some much more interesting things in here. So as you can see, I have four versions of what I have here. I have this old man, I have this old man, I have this one. Um, but I don't want to see this one smoking. So I think like the best option for us is the latest one. So this is the part when we get interested here. So what I want to do is to go back here. I want to use focus in here and here we do have the U options and the V options. Now U stands for upscale and B stands for variance. So if I choose B4, what does the computer is going to be doing? is to make variations of the image number four. So that's the reason why B stands for variations and four stands for the image number four. If I ask for U4, this one is gonna be telling the computer to upscale the image number four. Now, as you can see, this is the work that the computer has been doing. We have the 55% here, and this is the variations that were created. So I want to click in here, and once again, I'm gonna see uh, which one fits for me the best. I think like the best option, of course, is the fourth one. And I, what I want to do is to upscale my image number four. So with that being said, now what I can do is to go back into my image. And what I can do is to just implement that in here into Canva. And actually this is the part when we are just using the Met journey to our documents, to our presentations, to make this all look a little bit more professional. And the best part is that we didn't have to spend any any kind of money. But if you want to take a look into the prices that appears into the Metoni, you can check it out, the basic plan, the standard plan, and the pro plan. These are depending, of course, on the features that are available for you. You have limited generations, only 200 a month, general commercial terms, access to the member gallery, and optional credit top apps. So with that being said, I'm gonna go back into my test code. And this is the upscale version of my image. So lastly, what I just need to do is to select this one and hit into save the image. And I'm going to hit into save. Now, uh, I'm using Canva because uh, I'm actually using Canva Pro. One of the greatest features about Canva Pro is that I can upload wherever image that I want to do and I can delete the background as I wanted to. So I can select this one. I can upscale this, let's say for example, like this. And what I want to do is to either leave it like that or hit into edit image and choose the background remover. So we're going to wait a couple of seconds here. And I'm going to just move this like that, and I'm going to move it like this. And just like that, here is my image without a background. So I'm going to just leave it like that. Here I have my text here. And with that being said, guys, if you want to make like a quick comparison of which one is best, um, of course you want to choose the second option. I mean, this is really and much more professional. So this is how we can implement that into our documents. Uh, presentations and much more. So with that being said guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more amazing tools about my journey. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you on the next video.